all of the answers to these vaccine questions. Joining us exclusively right now, Surgeon General and White House Coronavirus Task Force member, Dr. Jerome Adams. Dr. Adams, thanks so much for being here this morning. I, I do want to start, though, uh, before we get to that vaccine news with this announcement out of the White House that they're planning to hold some holiday parties indoors at the White House. Americans have been told that we can't even see our families for this holiday, and yet here's the White House planning to hold these holiday parties indoors. What kind of message is this sending? Well, uh, I want the American people to know that we are at a dire point in our fight with this virus by any measure. Cases, positivity, hospitalizations, deaths, we are seeing more Americans negatively impacted than ever before. But I also want Americans to understand that we've never had more reason for hope thanks to the science. You were talking about Moderna and Pfizer. Uh, we're going to have people, uh, the vulnerable, start to be vaccinated in mere weeks. So I'm asking Americans, I'm begging you, hold on just a little bit longer. Keep Thanksgiving and the celebration small and smart this year. You can go to cdc.gov to learn about more tips regarding how to stay safe. But one of those tips is, again, to do it outdoors if you can. Keep it small, ideally less than 10. And prepare beforehand. Make sure you're not going around out in public and exposing yourself to other people, right. especially now heading into these celebrations. But, but, but Dr. Small and indoors is exactly what's not happening at the White House. Have you shared these tips with your, your colleagues there at the White House about this holiday party? Are you concerned this could be a super spreader event? Well, we want everyone to understand that these holiday celebrations can be super spreader events, so we want them to be smart and we want them to be as small as possible. But uh, again, go to CDC.gov, look at those tips for everyone. These apply to the White House, they apply to the American people, they apply to everyone. Uh, we want you to stay safe so we can get to a vaccine. Before we get to these viewer questions, I wanna ask you about uh, this Gallup poll that shows that 42% of Americans are not willing to be vaccinated. They don't trust this. How can you convince them? Well, one of the things that I'm doing is traveling around, talking to people. I had a conversation with historically black college and university presidents from Morehouse, from Meharry, from Howard, uh, just on Friday. And we're really trying to help people understand this vaccine was developed safely. Tony Fauci said it, Aman Salawi said it. Uh, we have not cut any safety corners. And the most reassuring thing I can say to you, America, is that when they tell me that I can get the vaccine, I will get it because I know that's the best way to protect myself and to protect my family and my community. We've got so many questions for you, so let me get to the very first one. It came in on Twitter, and I'm going to paraphrase it. This is the first vaccine of its kind. How can we be sure that prolonged side effects won't occur down the road? Well, I talk to Dr. Redfield, Dr. Burks, Dr. Fauci every day. They're the top virologists in the world. And here's what they tell me. Uh, normal studies only have about 5,000 people in them before a vaccine is approved. These studies have 30 to 60,000. These vaccines, at the point of being administered to the American public, will have more data than any other vaccine developed in history. And again, I will be in line to get it when they tell me that I can get it. That's how much confidence I have that this will be safe, 95% plus effectiveness, what I'd hate is for us to have a vaccine that could end this pandemic, but people don't trust it. And again, I'll keep working with any organization out there to help people understand the safety that went into this process, not just the speed. I got just a few seconds left. And I want to get to one more. Why is there a second vaccine needed after you get the first round? Well, it takes, uh, for some of these, multiple doses in order to get you where you need to be. But Johnson & Johnson is actually working on a one-dose vaccine. I'm just excited that now we have three vaccines out there because when you're trying to immunize the entire planet, we want to have as many different tools in our arsenal as possible. So reason for hope, go to CDC.gov, understand how to stay safe, small and smart this Thanksgiving. Surgeon General Jerome Adams, thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.